Hello! We are back with another Godzilla review. Oh my god, has it been forever? Okay, I thought I wasn't recording that. Uh, it has been forever. And today, I got this in the mail. I'm sorry I didn't do an unboxing video. But that's why I haven't done it in a while because I wanted to save up to get this. Destroy all monsters. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad to get this. I watched it today. I loved it. Um, it, will, it, it has to be my seventh favorite Godzilla movie of all times because it was just so enjoyable. And I know some Godzilla fans would say, too much human and alien parts. I understand that. But it was entertaining enough, and plus, it does redeem itself after three of the most awesomest scenes in the movie. One was when Godzilla, Mothra, Rodan, and Manda start attacking New York City. And then there was the part where Godzilla and Anguirus start, um, start attacking the military. And then there's the awesome fight at the end where all the monsters that lived at Monster Island are fighting off the King Ghidra. King Ghidra. Um, which was pretty much a freaking awesome fight. And I gotta say, King Ghidorah is bad A too because he actually lasted a couple a couple of like minutes with those monsters. And for instance, if it was Varen fighting off all those monsters, he would have got owned. Godzilla would have owned all of them. Like, if Kamango were fighting off all those monsters, he would have got owned. But Ghidorah actually lasted a little long, um, a little longer um, than I thought he would. And he actually was able to kick every, um, kick a couple of kaiju's, uh, kick a couple of kaiju butt. But then he gets owned and gets killed. <laughs> At least I live for the freedom! Oh, and also another thing. I... I've hit over 40 subscribers, so I forgot to inform you guys that I am going to do a live stream later on. Um, about it. I think it's this Friday. I'll do a Google live stream celebrating 40 subscribers. And once I hit 50, that's it. If I make it, like, once I hit 50, that's going to be my last live stream till all the way till I hit 100 subscribers. Reasons why. Because I don't want to make a live stream every time I hit, hit, um, hit like 50, I mean, hit like 60 or 70 or 80 or 90. No, I'm just, I just made one for my 30 subscribers, made one for my 40, um, no, haven't made one for my 40 subscribers, and sooner or later, 50 subscribers. So, I am just extremely glad about that. So, yeah, get on with the movie. The movie's plot is pretty much, um, it's 1999, and the humans just found a way to keep them up keep the monsters in captivity, but then aliens come down, release the monsters, and let the monsters attack um, cities and everything, but the humans were actually able to defeat the aliens, making the monsters, um, making the monsters, um, well, pretty much the same, but they were able to defeat the aliens, and because they couldn't really use anything to make the monsters come towards them, or else the aliens would disable, because the monsters were kind of the monsters were kind of in the aliens' controls. I need to you watch the movie. I'm kind of confused with that. But, um... But... Um... <sighs> oh, yeah. But once the humans disabled, they were able to make monsters go all the way back to Monster Island, defeat the alien base, and fight off the one and only King Ghidorah. Oh, my God. He's so awesome. Oh, so, so dreamy. Oh, I got ahead of myself. Okay. Um... So, the title is simple. There's actually two titles on this. Destroy Monsters. Destroy Monsters. This is the, um, I actually figured this out. My guys, little 1985 DVD was a bootleg. This is a bootleg, but I recommend it for those people that do not have a copy of this movie. Because all the copies, like, at eBay and Amazon cost over, like, $40. But I got this for $20, and it's worth it. Go buy it. Right now. Um, it's really cool. Um... Sorry for not doing anything. I had to replace the casing for this, which this is kind of something I um, was kind of mad about. When I got it in the mail, the case was bent and part of it was starting to fall off. But good thing, good thing because if I still had the disc in there, the disc would have got scratched or fell right out of its place. No, what, what the dude did, he took a little slip and stick the DVD in there so it could stay safe through shipping, which I thought was awesome. Yeah, but so I had to trade it out. But it's still pretty cool. Here, um, here. 
Um, there's the front of it. Let me get the glare off. Look at that. That's a really cool cover. I think it's better than the one we have with our American releases of this movie. And then there's the side to show our monsters, and it says in English. Hang on. You can't really see it. Destroy. It's really small. Destroy all. Yeah. It's it's kind of small, so it's kind of like it's you kind of have to focus on it. And then here's the back. Oh god, man, this is a wonderful back. I know it's not the best we've seen in the movies, but it gives out a shot from the movie and and one one and a Japanese poster, which actually this this is a pretty good looking poster. And then here's the the disc, which I thought that was pretty cool because. When I was kind of transferring the, you know, the cover to a different um, DVD case, it was paper, not kind of like those, um, not those type of other papers they have for discs, but it, yeah, it was made out of print paper, um, which I thought was cool. And it, it, this is just a fantastic movie. I don't know why people complain about it. I don't know why people say it's boring. It was enjoyable with me all the way. I loved it. I love those three major scenes that make up for, like, there were a couple parts that actually got kind of, like, unleaded. I'm like, oh, come on, hurry this up. And then it made up for it. At, those three scenes made up for it. And I love the soundtrack. The soundtrack actually made it up for it, too. But I'm not going to spoil anything. Um, I did kind of spoil the ending with King Dora being dead. But you know what? Everybody knows that. Just... Go have some fun. Watch this movie. You might get a little bored from it, but it will redeem itself with the soundtrack and three amazing scenes. And the human and alien parts are not bad also. There actually are some really good scenes with those. So, I recommend this. I got it for $20. You go get it for $20. It's a great buy. Go get it. I love the person that bootlegged this copy of the film. He's awesome. Stay big, Chief fans. Um, bye, peeps. And also, before I go like this video, favorite, and subscribe. Peace.